I spoke with one man today who suffers from a spinal cord injury. He says he comes here every year for assistance while his wife is away. Now that facility says it's in need of your assistance to help patients like Charles Reeves. For veteran Charles Reeves, even the simplest day-to-day -day activities requires a second pair of hands. If you're in a wheelchair, you seem shut off from the world most of the time because you always have to ask, ask someone else to do for you what you can't do for yourself. Reeves, who's a quadriplegic, relies on his wife to care for him 24 hours a day. He says every year she takes a fully deserved vacation. I won't say they'll get tired of you, but you can tire them out. They, your, my routine and your routine day to day are tired out, so both of you need to rest sometimes. That's why Reeves is staying at one of the only facilities in Augusta that cares for people with physical disabilities. Beth Miller runs the Walton Foundation's Heritage Heights facility. Uh, the majority of our individuals either have maybe spinal cord injury or brain injury or some type of physical disability like cerebral palsy. The facility offers short-term and long-term care starting at $150 a day, depending on the patient's needs. Miller says whether people come for a week or a year, everyone is family. Miller says this woman and her furry friend have been living here for 13 years. Now Miller says it's not just the patients that need assistance. The staff that takes care of them does also because of a shortage in volunteers. We need uh, volunteers uh, that can come and spend time with the residents, uh, socializing with the residents, playing games with the residents. More people to help patients just like Reeves, bringing a little bit of relief to their everyday challenges. Sometimes I feel like uh, it, God put me here. It, you know, it's a wonderful mission. You're doing a good thing. Uh, you can do positive things and uh, make a difference in people's lives. If you'd like to get involved, you can log on to our website, NBC26.tv, for more information. Elizabeth Hughes, NBC26.